Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to calculate the surface area and volume of a sphere. This tutorial will require some prior knowledge on being able to calculate the circumference of a circle and calculate the area of a circle. Now before looking at these formulas it is important to say that some exam boards do provide these formulas in a formula booklet or page and other exam boards do insert these formulas into the question but it is always helpful to memorize these formulas. So, let's start by looking at the surface area of our sphere. Using a basic animation, I'm going to show you that the surface area is 4 pi r squared. Well, firstly you can see the height of our sphere is made up of two radii. Even when I unfold my sphere and I create a cylinder, you can still see the height still remains to be two radii. Now, referring back to our sphere, here you can see the latitude or the widest circle around our sphere is made using the circumference of this cylinder. So as I unfold, you can see that the surface area of our sphere has now become a rectangle. So we can work out the surface area of our sphere using our knowledge on the area of a rectangle. Here you can see the width is 2 radii and the length is our circumference of our circle, which is 2 pi r. Therefore, the surface area of our sphere is 2 pi r times 2 r, which gives us the total surface area to be 4 pi r squared. So now we know the formula to calculate the surface area of a sphere. Let's see if we can apply it to a question. Here the question states that we need to calculate the surface area of a sphere with a radius of 6 cm, giving our answer to one decimal place. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. Given the question wants us to find the surface area of our sphere, we know the formula to be 4 pi r squared. Looking at our diagram and reading the question, it's clear to see that the radius is 6 cm. Substituting this in, we can work out the surface area of our sphere to be 144 pi. Given the question wants us to give the answer to one decimal place, this works out to be 452.4 cm squared to one decimal place. Now let's try a slightly harder question. This question shows a hemisphere, half of a sphere, and it states that the radius is 5 cm. We're asked to work out the total surface area of the hemisphere and give our answer in terms of pi. See if we can give it a go and press pause if you need. A little hint would be to refer to our required skills. Here the question wants us to work out the total surface area of our hemisphere. Now you can see from our diagram we have two faces. We have the curved area around our solid and we also have a circle on the base. So therefore we have to use two different formulas. So let's start with our curved surface area. Well, if it was a full sphere we know the formula would be 4 pi r squared. This would give us the curved surface area of the full sphere. But it's a hemisphere, so therefore we must divide it by 2. And this will give us the curved surface area. Substituting what we know, we know the radius to be 5, so therefore we have the curved surface area is 50 pi. Now looking at our second area, which is the area of a circle, well we know the radius is 5, so we have the area of our circle to be 25 pi. Therefore, the total surface area is the curved surface area, which we know to be 50 pi, add the area of the circle, which we know to be 25 pi, giving us a total surface area of 75 pi centimeters squared. 
Now let's look at calculating the volume of our sphere. Here the formula states that the volume of our sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So let's have a look at a question. The question states a company makes meditation balls in the shape of a sphere with a diameter of 6.4 centimeters. We're asked to calculate the volume of one meditation ball, giving our answer correct to two significant figures. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. We know to calculate the volume of a sphere, the formula is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now referring to our question, we know the diameter is 6.4 centimeters. But we need our radius. We know our radius to be 3.2 centimeters, so we simply substitute. Therefore, 4 thirds times pi times 3.2 cubed gives us our volume of our sphere to be 137.258, so on and so forth. However, the question wants us to write our answer to two significant figures. So, looking at our second significant figure, we can see that we round to give 140 centimeters cubed to two significant figures. Now let's have a look at a slightly harder question. The diagram shows a hemisphere with a diameter of 18.6 centimeters. We're asked to work out the volume of our hemisphere, giving our answer correct to three significant figures. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. Firstly, we know to calculate the volume of a sphere, it is 4 thirds pi r cubed. But this is if it was a full sphere. The question has given us a hemisphere. So therefore, to work out the volume of a hemisphere, it's 4 thirds pi r cubed divided by 2. Simplifying, this gives us 2 thirds pi r cubed. Now, identifying our radius, you can see that our radius is 9.3 centimeters, given that we were given the diameter. So, substituting this in, we have 2 thirds times pi times 9.3 cubed, gives us 1,684.64, so on and so forth. Because the question wants us to round to three significant figures, looking at our eight, we know our answer is 1,680 centimeters cubed to three significant figures. Now let's look at an even harder question. Here you can see we have a hemisphere, and the volume of the hemisphere is 250 over 3 pi we're asked to work out the radius. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. Well, we know the formula to work out the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Given we are given a hemisphere, we simply divide it by 2 to give us 2 thirds pi r cubed. Now, from here, we're able to substitute what we know the volume of our hemisphere to be. We know the volume of a hemisphere is 250 over 3 pi, which will equal 2 thirds pi r cubed. Now we can cancel pi from both sides giving us 250 over 3 is equal to 2 thirds r cubed. Now, we need to get the radius on its own, so we need to divide by 2 thirds. This gives us the calculation of 250 over 3 divided by 2 thirds equaling r cubed. Working this out, we know 125 is equal to r cubed. Now, to work out r, we simply cube root 125 to give us the radius being five centimeters. Now let's have a look at our last question which combines both of our formulas. Here it states that we have solid S and it is one quarter of a sphere with a center O. We know the volume of this solid is 576 pi centimeters cubed. And we're asked to find the surface area of our solid S 
giving our answer to three significant figures. See if you can give it a go, referring to both of our formulas and our required skills. Well, let's start with the volume of our solid. Well, if it was a full sphere, we know the formula would be 4 thirds pi r cubed. But because it's a quarter of a sphere, therefore we know it's 4 thirds pi r cubed divided by 4, which gives us 4 over 12 pi r cubed. Cancelling this down gives us 1 third pi r cubed. This is the formula for a quarter of a sphere. Now we know the volume to be 576 pi, we know that equals one third pi r cubed. Cancelling pi from both sides, we now have 576 is one third pi r cubed. Because we want to work out the radius, we're going to divide both sides by one third. To give us 576 divided by one third is equal to r cubed. Working this out, we have 1728 is our radius cubed. So, to work out our radius, we simply find the cube root of 1728 to give our radius to be 12 centimetres. Now we know our radius, we can work out the surface area. Well, we know the formula to work out the surface area of a full sphere is 4 pi r squared. But we know this is a quarter of a sphere, so therefore the curved surface area of our sphere is 4 pi r squared divided by 4, cancelling the 4s down, gives us pi r squared. This will give us the curved surface area of our sphere, but we're asked to find the total surface area. And you can see it also consists of a semicircle here and a semicircle here. So we need to work out the area of these two semicircles. The formula to work out the area of a circle is pi r squared. So to work out the semicircle is a half pi r squared. So let's work out the curved surface area first. Well, we know the radius to be 12. Substituting this in, we know that the curved surface area of our solid is 144 pi. Working out the area of our semicircle, a half pi r squared, substituting in, we know the area of one of our semicircles is 72 pi. Therefore, the total surface area is the curved surface area, which is 144 pi. Then we have the area of one semicircle to be 72 pi and the area of the other semicircle to be 72 pi. Therefore, our total surface area is 288 pi Rounding this to three significant figures, we have 905 centimetres squared. So, in summary, we've looked at working out the volume of a sphere and the surface area of a sphere, and applied it to more tricky questions such as hemispheres or solids which are made of a quarter of a sphere. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.